Okay, question five. Explain how variables and constants should be used when creating and running a program. So we've got three marks on offer um, for knowing what variables and constants are and what they're used for and how they're used. So let's have a look. So um, we can start off by saying constants. I use that will not change while the program running. So a constant is something that stays constant, it doesn't change. Variables store values that may change. So they don't have to change, but they can change. And again, while the program is running. Now, um, um, so that should get at least two of those marks. We'll have a look at the mask in a sec. Um, something else that's really important is with anything that you give a name to is that they should have sensible names um, and that's usually referred to as a meaningful identifier and that just means that the person if anyone else is looking at your code then they can understand what you're trying to do because they'll know that for example you might have a variable called area so they'll know exactly what that is. So um, They should have meaningful identifiers. Um, okay, let's let's have a look at the mask scheme. See what we get there. So variables and constants should have meaningful identifiers. Yeah. So we can we can. Um, so I did the bit of, when I was talking about it, I did the bit of sort of justification, but I didn't, didn't write it out, so maybe I should have done. Um, have meaningful identifiers so that programmers, other programmers, or anyone else looking at your code can have a better understanding of what your code's purpose is. Um, they're both used for data storage. So um, I've actually said constant store values, variable store values, so I'm happy I'd, I'd get that. Um, constant store values that never change while the program is running. Uh, or during the execution of the program, which is just another way of saying while the program is running. And uh, variables contain values that have been calculated within the program, fair enough, or can change during the execution of the program. So, and again, that's what we've got here, variable store values that may change whilst the, oh, can change, doesn't matter which word you use while the program is running. So yeah, <coughs> we have um, easily got uh, three or four of those points there. Okay, so let's stop this one and then we'll move on to question six.